Right, we are back. And a decision must be made. So, throw out uh, something in the chat if you are here right now. And by right now, I mean sort of 15 seconds in the future, but 15, 20, something along those lines. You think, you think you're here, good. That's a start. Right now, good, right. So we've got two. I'm just basically figuring out who I can expect to be voting uh, so that we don't necessarily wait around too long. But, uh, right, two votes it looks like. So, oh, can't sleep still here. So, three votes potentially. Three votes over four potential games. So I'm going to throw out some clues. Some might be very obvious, some might not be so obvious. <laughs> um, the first one is two for the price of one in a legendary edition. And about 60 seconds behind, by me. Interesting. Uh, I'd do a refresh, possibly. That sometimes helps it out. But otherwise it might just be, unfortunately, lagging, I suppose. Uh, so a two for one. Two for one legendary edition. A brand new game I've never played before. Like OMD? And a harrowing experience how how roaring just the just in in it's harrowing the way i say the word harrowing um but that's your four clues that is four clues first clue two for the price of one legendary brand new game i've never played before like omd that's the third clue and then the fourth is howering Powering experience. No, I'm afraid that is all the clues you get. You have to vote for one of those four clues, and then that game will be played. So I'll, I'll do them again while you're making your decision. Two for one, legendary edition. Um, that's the first clue. Second clue, brand new, never before played. Third one, like OMD. And then the fourth clue, powering, powering experience. You've only gotten one of them. Ooh. Pray tell, which one do you feel you've gotten? And we'll see if you're right, if that's true. You'll go for the brand new game? Ooh. Well, I think, I think two votes for Harrowing. You got OMD. <laughs> Pray tell, I, it doesn't matter now because we're doing Harrowing Experience game. So what do you think... Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? Uh, no more no more Dragon Quest Builders 2 for this week, no. That will return next Thursday at 8pm. Uh, can you say all four what they are? I can, yes. And yes, there you go, one has been revealed. Like, OMD is Orcs Must Die, because OMD, Orcs Must Die. Uh, right, let's edit the stream info for the new mystery game, and that will basically reveal it when the title updates. And let's upgrade that one. Marvellous. Right, that's now updated. Uh, so yes, 2 for 1 Legendary Edition was Evoland, the Legendary Edition. It's both Evoland and Evoland 2. Uh, then the brand new one that I've never played before, Urtuk, the Desolation. And then as we discussed... OMD is Orcs Must Die, and then the Howling Adventure. The Howling, Howling Adventure. I say adventure, it's not really an adventure, it's, it's more of an experience. Um, so let's let's fire it up, it should just work. I've said that in the past, but uh, on some occasions they do just, you know, exactly what you need them to do, which is function immediately and correctly. Now... Again, I set this up earlier, so it should just appear on the screen, but you never knew. I I liked the first Evo Land, and I believe I have played the second one. Oh, okay, that's not a good sign. Why is that there? M mostly because that shouldn't actually exist at all, which is fine. Now it looks like it's broken. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. No, that's good. That's good. Oh, here we go. It's worked now. Took it. Took its sweet ass time, but it's finally worked. 
My key question is, will it... Be there we go. Yes, it will appear. The alien wear. The wear of aliens. Sort of tentacle suits, I suppose. That's what you wear as an alien. In modern war, you will die like a dog for no good reason. Yep. Okay, we will be doing, I believe, there we go. I'm just going to do the classic modes. See what uh, see what we can do in the classic modes. Uh, I don't know what the continue would be. I can't remember the last time I played this. But what we're going to do is another try. Uh, so, and <laughs> this is super depressing. Yes, yes it is. Uh, <laughs> right, choose your story. I suppose to a certain extent, yeah. I'll probably throw this open to, uh, apart from him, apart from him, because apparently I have already survived as Pavle Bruno Marco, so we'll ignore those ones. So, would you like me to be Katia, Bruno, and Pavel? I think it's Pavel. Uh, or Iskra and Christo? Or, I don't know, Zveta? Zveta? Zveta, maybe? Zveta, Pavel, Anton, and Zlata. Bruno, Roman, and Arika. Uh, Boris, Amelia, and Marin. Arika, Marin, and Katya. Or Zlata, Livia, and Marco. Uh, now you're saying Bruno, Arika. Which would be the only combination of Bruno, Arika I can see would be that one. So I can do that one. Boris. You want a Boris? So we've got uh, new Boris, not old Boris, new Boris. You want the brand new Boris? Uh, <laughs> oh, you've changed your vote. You, have you changed your vote then? So that's two votes for Boris, Emilia, and Marin. Uh, or would you prefer Bruno, Roman, and Arica? I think we've got two votes for Boris. So I tell you what, I'm going to make the decision. We're doing Boris. I don't know what my previous content was, so I'm fine. <laughs> you must pronounce him. Boris, triddle the R's. I don't think I can trill or R's. I don't think I've got an R's. Fuck the war. Don't fuck the war, baby. Fuck the war. Don't fuck the war over. I mean, arguably, if you could fuck a war that over, that'd be quite useful, wouldn't it? Do 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 do. do. Super grey palette. <laughs> This is not the sort of game you should play when you just take the piss out of everything. But, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Let's kill some people and make them all depressed. Here we go. Months of incessant bombardment have turned this part of town into a sea of ruins. While most of the residents have fled to seek shelter in districts less exposed to sniper fire, the abandoned tenements attract those less fortunate. Who have nowhere else to go hide. My heart sank when I stole all the peaches from the old couple. <gasps> My heart grew when I shot the old couple and then stole all their peaches. This is why I shouldn't play this sort of game, because it makes me chuckle to make them into murdering scum. <laughs> Marin lost everything in a fire that destroyed his workshop. Boris and Amelia once had families, and now they are both the lone survivors. They come across a house that still offers some protection from the elements, and decide to weather the siege together inside its walls, until one of you murders the others for food and sustenance. Okay, I don't know if they're going to tell me how to play this game. I don't think they are, truth be told. I can uh, build shit, but I don't have any resources. That's fine. Um... And sort of. Oh, the door is locked. Okay, cool. I thought we pretty much owned the house. That's fine. Open that door. That's it. I think we can sort of, yeah, open the drawer. Don't know whether it's going to be easier to play it with a controller or not, but oh well. We're basically playing it with a controller, so we'll see. We'll soon find out. <laughs> open the wardrobe. That's it, mate. There you go. Uh, yeah, grab that. Grab all of it. All of it. That's what we want. Pick it all up. Pick it all up. Can we go down the ladder? Yes, we can. Superb. Can't do that. Some loose planks. I could easily remove them. Oh, good lad. Wasn't expecting you to be able to do that. Come on, pull it up. There you go. Good lad. All right. Pull that in. So that's the drawers. 
rifle through the drawers. Because you never know what you'll find. I think this might need... Oh, no, you can start clearing. Ah, and we can go off and be someone else as well. So, superb. So, what is... What is the other symbol, and can I access it? Oh, I can zoom in. Didn't know that. I can zoom out again. It's quite useful to be able to zoom in and out. Uh, right. What can you do upstairs? Go on, grab some stuff. That's it. Good lad. Rifle through the gubbins. And now, open that door. Oh, there's no gubbins to rifle through there, so just go up the ladder, son. That's it, there you go. Up we go. And now you can start... You can start rifling through the dirt uh, while Amelia... Uh, so, Marin is a handyman. Let's have a look at his bio. Something broke. I can fix it. Any worthless trash lying around? I can make plenty of useful stuff out of junk. And I don't like to waste... I don't waste material. All of them. Parts, bits of wood, plastic pipes, and all of the other things. I know how to make tools, furniture, stoves, heaters, whatever. Given enough time, I can make this place look like almost like a proper home. I wish it was equally simple with mine. A handyman and coffee drinker. And we haven't got any more information on him. A talented lawyer. That's not going to come in handy, is it? Now that we are stuck together... They're all pretty much going to have the same voice, because I've only really got one generic Eastern European voice. <laughs> now that we're stuck together, I might as well tell you about me and my family. Father was a very practical man. He always reminded us of the importance of financial safety. That's why I became a lawyer like him, and my sister was to become a doctor. When the war broke out, we had a lot of savings on our family account, but the currency soon lost all value. The banks were closed, and we had no foreign cash. In a matter of days, we became poor. And now, Boris, strong but slow. I'm not big with words. I'm just a regular guy. I used to stack stuff on the night shift at a warehouse, by hand mostly. It was tough work, but I was always strong. Even when I was a kid. Now this place is gone. Shell to hell. And so is my house. My foot was crushed under rubble. It has healed, but still a bit stiff. So I can't run very fast. But I can carry more than anyone I know. Strong but slow. He's a smoker. Get out of the house. Whoops. No, carry on doing that. Uh, that was a locked door, wasn't it? Yes. And then, I suppose arguably we do have... Downstairs, I don't know if it, all of these. Oh, she can. Oh, yeah, that's a rifle pile. Fair enough. I thought the I thought the hand was just interacting with the ladder. Uh, equipment, a lockpick, nice. Might be quite useful. I don't know if she can use a lockpick, but screw it. Oh, there we go. Right, so we can add sort of a fire here, I think, can't we? Or she's sort of standing by the fire. Fair dues. Uh, the rubble is blocking the way. It'll take a while to pick through it. Well, I want you to pick through it. I just need to figure out... Whoops. Oh, he's done it. Marvellous. Good lad. Oh, I'd burn my lockpick. Hmm. Now, nah, go on. I want to see what's inside the house. Just explore all of the options. Oh, now he's opening it. Marvellous. Rifling. Uh, got medications. Their taste is terrible, but they can save your life in sickness. And in health. Um, I'm frozen to the bones. We must get some heating quickly. Okay, cool. Well, technically. Go on, mate. Now, I do feel like there's a way. Yes, <laughs> there uh, Oh, and that's going to be an upgrade. I'm assuming that's upgrading the fireplace. Yes, it is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, yeah, you just... Oh, I've, I've... I'm putting logs on the fire. Right. Yeah, you finished as well. Get, get in there, rifle through the wardrobe. Pick up all of that. Pick up sticks. And pick up anything else you've got as well. Oh, I think Marin might end up being... Oh, it's locked. Oh, you dipshit. What are you doing? Go and unlock it then. Look through there. And then let's get back to you. Apparently you possibly... Ref oh, no, there we go. Wait, oh, wait. Pick up all of that. Yeah, there we go. I could try and move the rubble. Yeah, please. That's what I'm asking you to do, dear. Uh, can can Boris can Boris help you out? Or is, uh, is it one, one apiece? I could really use a shovel. Well, we don't have a shovel. It's a tough shirt, isn't it, love? Got to learn to roll with the punches. And m most of what we've got here is punches. Right, so we're pretty much, as far as I can tell, in terms of the amount of house... Oh, there is a... There is another sort of... Oh, wait. that's a, Oh, that's a new... Yeah, that's a different area. Cool. We'll pop through this area. 
crack that open. Enter here. Oh, I don't... Yeah, I think that might be me using that, which I don't really want to do. Uh, let's rifle through this drawer here. Oh, no, that's sitting down. I didn't tell you... Could, I didn't say you could sit down, sir. I need you to carry on doing more things. Right, so I think at this point, all we really do is sort of... Oh, I can shovel the snow. I don't know how beneficial that is. We can melt it into water. Oh. Well, that's probably quite good, isn't it? Yeah, you, you carry on, son. You do that. What are you doing? Still digging. What are you doing? Wandering around. Stop. I didn't tell you to do that. Don't you do things by yourself. You pop out here, and I think you can make a snowman. So that's what you're gonna. That's what your job is. Obviously, in the harsh, bleak survival, uh, everybody's got time to build a little snowman. Go on, go on, Boris. Let it go. Let it go. Ah, good. You've oh, you've got to do another one. Sorry, dear. We both thought you were finished on that job, didn't we? Marin, you've got the water. Good. Cool. Don't know precisely what I can use water with, but it's good to have it. It's good to have it. Uh, are things. Oh, I see. I would have to actually melt it into water. I wonder if I... Do I do that by the fire? I mean, don't get me wrong. That would make sense. But I don't know for certain. No, because I think that's just adding more logs, isn't it? Yeah. Is that building shit from fire? No. Mm. So as it must potentially be on the crafting bench. Because I'm thinking that might be the only way to actually craft. Uh, let's have a look. So that's a filter. Homemade single-use filter to purify rainwater or distill alcohol. Yes, we'll probably want one of those. A moonshine steel. With a bit of patience, some water and sugar, we can make a foul-tasting but strong booze. We can then barter it for things we need. Just don't expect too much. A metal workshop allows us to make tools, such as shovels for clearing rubble, crowbars for breaking doors, and knives for self-defence. Later, we could use it to build more advanced tools or even repair firearms. A rainwater collector. That's probably the most important thing. Uh, a simple contraption to collect and filter rainwater needed for me for cooking and making alcohol. Might be wise to build a couple of them. I'll consider it. It's as simple as they get. Just burn some fuel made up of wood, books or components and use some water to cook a meal more nutritious than raw food. And beds offers a decent place to sleep without back pain. A chair. A simple heater. Allows us to heat the shelter so that we don't get ill. We can prepare fuel for it using wood books or various components. And a radio. Might be quite useful to have a radio, but I'll tell you what, let's get at least one of these. Now, I don't know whether there is a benefit. It feels like the most logical thing for one of these is sort of to make sure it's kind of got access to a, a leaking roof, but I'm not sure. Truth be told, can't remember how much difference it would make, but I suppose I could put it. I don't know if it's meant to sort of... Yeah, I'm assuming loosely it's meant to just poke outside. Yeah. So I'm wondering... My inclination... What's being placed? It's a water... It's a rain catcher. And I think the idea is it is sort of... Although having said that, there... There and there I can't imagine it would work. But something like that, it looks like it is poking outside. And something like that, it looks like it's poking outside. Um, it needs a hole. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Which means either sort of the front place, or possibly... Yeah, I mean, there definitely looks like it's going to work. If it doesn't, eh. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, we'll carry on with... We'll carry on following Marin. Might as well. I'll build that, and then build some beds, I think. Might be the best idea. Although, I think he's going to take a while. Oh, he is the handyman, so if anybody can do it, the handyman can, because he mixes it with wood and makes the world go round, I suppose. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, 750. It's sort of... Oh, here we go. The night. Right, okay. The ghost house. That turns out we're playing Phasmophobia, apparently. A man who lived there used to give shelter to people in need. He either died or fled after his home has been ravaged by mortar fire. Since then, the house stands abandoned, and neighbourhood kids say that it's haunted. 
A large, lots of food, huge amount of materials, lots of meds, huge amount of weapons, lots of parts. Okay, interesting. Uh, then there's the ruined villa. Huge amount of everything again. They say some people still live there, against all odds. They must have some supplies stocked, like canned food and possibly bandages or medicines, but they don't want to trade. If we're desperate, we could try to steal from them. And the semi-detached house, of course. Half of it is in half it is a ruin, but there are people living in the other half. They don't seem friendly. At night you can sometimes hear shots fired from there. We could probably scour the abandoned part for supplies if we manage to sneak past the inhabited part. Okay, that's not where I thought it was, but that one's danger. The ghost house, however, apparently doesn't have danger. So that's cool. Uh, Amelia? Yeah, I'm happy for Amelia to do that, perhaps. Uh, prepare? No, that's not quite what I meant. How do I... Ah, here we go. This is how I do. Uh, so guard the house, but we won't sleep. Um... Apparently Marin's already slightly sick. Well done, mate. Well done. Well, since you're not going to get be able to sleep in a bed for now, you can guard and let Marin sleep the sickness away, perhaps. Uh, so prepare yourself. Uh, medications? No, we don't really need medications at the moment. We don't really have any weapons either. So ultimately, I don't think there's anything worthwhile doing. So we'll just have a pop out and <laughs> take a strong flashlight and a head-mounted camera. We can't afford either one of those. And we certainly couldn't afford a motion sensor. It's deserted. I don't expect to meet anyone inside. Well, that's good. So, yeah, I can sort of sneak. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, you said you don't expect to see anybody inside. However, does look... Okay, there's a rat. There's a rat in the kitchen. What am I going to do? I'm going to take the rat and take it home and cook it. That's what I plan on doing with that rat. Actually, I can't guarantee that. Cool. Parts, bits, bobs, and doings. So let's... Can we... Yeah, I was going to say, I thought I could drop down there. Apart from the fact that it was loud, but... Supposedly this place is abandoned, so I should be able to pick it off. I should be able to pick it clean quite nicely. Not entirely sure how I use my fists as weapons, but... Oops. Oh no, that was run to exit. That's her... That's her backpack. Yeah, I must admit. Oh, that was a charge. Unexpected charge there. Let's get some scavenging going on. I'm sure if... Uh, I'm sure if when I need to... Oh, I can't grab everything. I can grab a stack of those. Uh, water's going to be important. Uh, a little bit of extra wood. And I can probably take those bullets. And then... I certainly remember they're there, but I might not necessarily take them all. So I'm, I'm being a little bit not hugely careful. Do I need saw blade? Okay, that's fine. Pick this up. And now... Ooh, coffee. Well, one of us was a coffee drinker. I suppose I should probably... Oh, one of us was a smoker, so I'll take the smoker's uh, stuff as well. Homegrown tobacco. Oh, I suppose so. Books. Uh, Weapon parts I could probably do with Droopy Tog, but I have run out of uh, slots in the inventory. Parts I could probably do with. Let's ditch the shell casings for now and grab parts. Can we grab more water there? Yes, we can. Uh, to a certain extent, I don't think I can pack anything more in my bag. I'll carry on sort of having a bit of a wander around because it's it's good it's good scouting for for next time. Well, I really need to. I don't think there is a way. Uh, yes, no, open that door, please. I'm just wondering if there is a way to sort of. No, okay, there isn't. Or at least not immediately to hand. Uh, food would be a good idea, actually. Uh, sugar. How much water can we carry? That much. Okay, let's ditch some of those parts in favour of grabbing some raw morsels of food there. So that we've at least got something to eat. So we've got bits and pieces to work with. 
Uh, are they actual? They are actual bullets. That's good. We'll just see if there's a there's an actual gun lurking around at all. Again, we'll just be a bit sloppy in this house because we don't have to worry too much about stealth. At least I don't think we do. Lock's pretty simple. Should be able to open it. Well, go on then. Force the lock. If only I had tools. Well, you are a tool, so that's good enough for us. Boom. Oh, I don't know what I was... Investigate the chair? Dear Subura, just when I managed to reach this country, we thought to be safe. It too was plunged into war. Don't worry though, I'm fine. I write this letter waiting for a man who can smuggle me to safety in his boat. I will then apply for asylum. And as soon as I get it, I'll bring you here. And we'll be together again, away from war and misery. Hang on and pray for me, Kofi. I don't know if he made it or not. We can only hope. Uh, is that... Oh, that's a quality roll-up. I suppose arguably we'll ditch the plain old roll-up and get him the quality one. Uh, can we pick up more of those? Yes, we can. Cool. How many much... For... Oh, more water. That's handy. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's all good. Uh, we can't get in through there, so that's fine. Now pretty much just, yeah, pretty much just leave. Probably come back here tomorrow night. Can I, oh, I was going to say, can I not, can I not get through there? But let's just see if there is a way to sort of, no, I think it is, I think it is sort of delicate, delicate fingering, delicate fingering. So off we go. Amelia is back. Back again. Yes, she is. Tell a friend. I don't want to. I don't think any of my friends would care that Amelia was back. Day two. Amelia returns. Hello. Look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Well, we hope you can. Boris clearly isn't well. He could do with some pills. Okay. Well, I suppose we'll try and work on the idea of getting you some pills, mate. Uh, cool, we've got a morsel of food, and now what we want to do... Hungry and tired, okay, that's fine. Hungry, sick and tired. Uh, slept poorly. Uh, hungry, slightly sick. Cool, cool. Alright, let's get to the... Where's the upgrades room? Cool. And uh, you, it's rather chilly inside. I think we should think about heating. Well, I could have sworn we did think about heating, but then I suppose we stopped thinking about heating. Let's see if we can't... I mean, in fairness, it's going to be cold outside, but I should sleep off the last night. I mean, yeah, go on. Uh, but first, finish the snowman, because that's one of the more important things. Right, I think what we need to do is pop down here, put some fire in in what I believe to be our heater. Although, having said that, there appears to be some wood in the heater, so... Oh, shit, there's someone at the door, I think. Or did... Uh, Oh no, he's, he's decided to refuse. Buddy, 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 do as you're told. Build the snowman. You can build a snowman. While this man builds some beds. Yes, I think beds is the most important thing. So, what we'll do... Yeah, downstairs by the sort of fiery area. That seems like a reasonable place. Um, and now we'll also have Amelia perhaps try and build something as well. So if you could, if you would, it would be delightful. Simple heat, and no, uh, what I want is the crude stove. And ideally, we want that next to the fridge. So yeah, that's our designated kitchen, so you pop off and do that. There you go, good. Hungry and tired. Well, uh, the, the hungry part I'm working on. Maybe it will be a magic snowman. You never know. I'd gladly eat something. I'm sure you would, but tough shit. Absolute casserole? Yes. Yes. Indeed. That is what we might cook with our scraps of meat. But it's, it's certainly an unusual opening line. Uh, <laughs> I have an absolute casserole. But welcome. Welcome, Mr. Malascalabar. Right, fuel it. Yes. A bunch of put a couple of sticks in it. There you go. 
I see. Yes, I do plan on watching uh, Taskmaster in the not-too-distant future. But rather, obviously, it is difficult to watch whilst doing this. Uh, right, so... Cook us up. Okay, so I'd need at least another bit of wood. So what we need to do is pop in... I think one more piece of wood should see us through... Whoops, no, 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 no. I'm getting used to the controls again. Eventually I'll be able to do it well. Uh, nope, still only four. Oh, it's the water that we're missing. But still, still get on with cooking. Uh, right, you, what I need you to do is build another bed, if you wouldn't mind. We want a grand total of three beds, Marin. And you are kind of the handyman. So, get on the bed situation, sir. Get on the bed situation. Oh, and you can have the bed next to that one. And then, uh, right, so you're hungry. So go on. You tuck in. You tuck into one of your own bits of cooking. Go on. That's it. Yes. And now, what I'd like you to do, so that you're fresh and sort of bushy eyed for the evening run, you pop down here and you have a crack in the bed. And I said crack. Not uh, not have a crap in the bed, because the man's only just built it. The man has only just built it. Okay, so you are sick. Uh, so, I suppose, arguably, have some pills. Oh, and there you go. I don't think this will, this will entirely solve his sickness. But uh, he is now classified as on meds. So what we can also do is solve his hunger problems. And now we can also, hopefully, if Marin has uh, done his duty, which he has. Good lad, get you down here. Now you can sleep on the bed. Alright, and Marin, you get up here and build another bed. He's slightly sick, but we've got no more pills, I'm afraid. And you're, you're hungry, but we've got no more food. So, yeah, you're going to have to just sort of live with it. Oh, we can't build any more beds. Okay, we're going to have to wait for that as well. That's fine. Uh, build a radio? Yeah, why not? Right, where do we want the radio? I think possibly... Where's the chair? Oh, the chair's in the kitchen. Uh, hmm. Where do we want the radio? I don't know. That's more a bathroom than a radio room, but I suppose technically it don't matter that much. What I could probably do is build a chair there next to the table, so we'll place a we'll place a radio up there. Off you pop, mate. Go on. Move a bit quicker, would you? You might be hungry, slept poorly and slightly sick, but you can move you you can ambulate a little bit quicker than that. So how are you, Mr. Calibre? Are you doing well? You missed Dragon Quest Builders, I'm afraid. Which is a fantastic game that is uh, delightful beyond comparison. Uh, oh, I forgot to finish off building the rain make uh, the rain catcher. Oh well, we'll deal with that in a moment or two. Once he's finished building the radio, he can pop back upstairs and finish building the rain catcher. Do 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 Ignore the fact that you've just built a radio with bare hands, and uh, nobody cares. What you need to do is build me a rainmaker. Let's check in with the talented lawyer, Amelia. She's sleeping happily. And Boris. Okay. Day two of Boris's story. I had a beautiful girlfriend, Anna. We had a kid, a wonderful son. Luca was just like me. He was only seven and already stronger than all other kids. I bet he would have grown up to become a great weightlifter, as I always wanted to be, if I had saved him. Damn, son, you're bringing the mood down. Nobody else has a story at the moment. I don't think we can do that. Yeah, I would have to melt snow from the pile outside to get some water. Okay. I suppose it's because we've started in winter, I guess. Yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, so it probably wasn't worthwhile uh, bringing the rainmaker in, but never mind. The rebel leader instructed us to warn the listeners not to cross the front line. Failure to comply could result in death. Oh, I think he might be saying it, actually. Difficult to, difficult to tell. Uh, right, there's not a whole lot 
left for my, for my boy to do. Oh, there you go. Pick up where, where my fella left off and uh, start building that snowman. Because it is the most important thing. And tonight, just think, if you get a little bit more of that snowman done, tonight, I'm going to let you sleep in a bed. Oh! What a treat. That will at least solve the sleeping poorly thing. Uh, right, sleeping bed, sleeping bed. No, 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 no. We need you to sleep in the bed. Uh, we need you. I, I must admit, actually, might be worthwhile. Although he's still classified as tired, so for now, you sleep in a bed and you go out scavenging again. But certainly, against the ghost house, it's probably going to be worthwhile sending Boris out because he might be slow. But there's nobody there. Uh, St Mary's Church has just opened up. Some food, huge amounts of materials, lots of meds, lots of parts, possible trade, caution advised. St. Mary's Church is still a place of meetings for the local community. Priest Olek is known for his charitable work and offering refuge to the poor. He might have something to give away or trade. The vestry behind the church is devastated and abandoned. We could find some useful materials there. And everything else we have seen. There is the shelled school, but can't get there due to snow. The school has been shelled several times, unfortunately. But it's intriguing. I'm getting notifications out the wazoo and flittering elsewhere. But I think it's, it seems to be holding strong. So it might be a good idea to bring a shovel and maybe some other tools. They say some homeless people have taken refuge inside the building. Well, we can't get there anyway, so fuck it. Uh, scavenge. Choose a local... Oh, I thought I had. Sorry. Ghost house again, please. Because there's still plentiful stuff there. Uh, don't need anything to take with me. No, so off you go. Scavenge away. Scavenge away. Scavenge away. Scavenge away. Scavenge away. Is that just the exit marker? Yes, it is. I wasn't 100% sure. It's plausible that they may suddenly have had people spring up here. And as such, we will suddenly get some competition, but... For now, as far as I'm aware, right, get some more food supplies, get those four. We do need some more wood, so that's going to be beneficial. Uh, we'll leave that for now because we don't necessarily need fermentation. Could you uh, get down, down the ladder, dear? Down the ladder. Is that a ladder you can get? Oh, no, it's not a ladder you can get down, that's why. It's only a ladder up. It's not a ladder down. Scavenge through this pile because I think there was more wood here, perhaps. Uh, yes, there is. So we'll take one more. We'll take two more bits of wood. And then maybe... Yeah, we'll leave that open, but with the distinct probability that I'll be coming back in a moment. Uh, open that up. What was in here? A bit of wood. Weapons parts. Not too fussed about weapons parts for now, but remember there's wood in that one. And then I don't know if I can go out slightly further. I'm going to try and see what happens. But I get the impression this is going to be a dead end. I am just going to have a, a walk out there. No, that's fine. Dead end. So, pretty much just want to sort of pop down here and I think just grab as much wood as my uh, girl's backpack can carry. Uh, do we want maximum wood or do we fancy something else? Uh, there was some... Was there gears up in this net, uh, part? Difficult to know for certain. Uh, oops, see there goes. Wrong gubbins. Do, 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 do. Uh, no, there was no gears, but we'll take we'll take that. Uh, cool. A successful scavenging. Let's run to the exit. You can just automatically run to the exit, which is quite nice. You push the B button, and she just just off she goes. Off she toddles. Away she uh, runs. Amelia is back. Yes. I'm loading your game. That you are. That you are. Day free. Doom, 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 doom. Tonight I had a really good haul. Look what I got. You've got so much stuff. Oh, arrow. Boris is pale and coughing all the time. He looks severely sick. Well, that's going to be problematic. This night was calm. Okay. So, we've got a sick man. Uh, you're hungry, so that's not great news. Uh, ah, I see, I do still need a filter for that. So I'd best do some filtering. Uh, first thing we'll do... 
Like, first thing we'll do is send you to bed. Although, having said that, the other two are apparently still there. Severely ill, but recovering. Slightly sick, but recovering. I suppose that's why you're in bed. Day three. Boris is very ill. I'm worried we could contract this disease. Oh, dear. Well, that's problematic, isn't it? Uh, where are you off to? I don't know. But we have no medicine, which is going to be a problem. Oh, that's the chair. Don't sit in the chair. Uh, I suppose you're, you're going to be responsible for building well, basically everything now, because the handyman's taken down uh, ill. So build another bed. You can, have, yeah, you can have your own private bedroom, Amelia. Oh, I think it seems only fair. Gives you a bit of privacy away from the gents. Go on, that's it. And now I might have to have you sort of get up, Mr. Handyman. There we go. You're going to have to start pulling your weight around here, despite the fact that you're sick. I feel like Amelia might be the only one who survives. <laughs> and even then, she might not actually survive. Okay, we need lots more components there. That's problematic. Uh, do, do, do. What's the upgrade requirement here? Uh, parts and wood again. So we need wood. It's basically all wood. Wood, 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 wood. Edward, wood, wood. What would Edward, wood, wood do if Edward, wood, wood, could, wood, wood? Uh, I don't know. But the Plentiful supply of woods there. Uh, do we actually have enough to start some cooking? No, I don't think we did, did we? That's the problem. Uh, do, 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 up we go. In we go. You might have to start eating it raw. Yeah, unfortunately we need more water. And we don't have filters. We won't have filters. Going off of this week, Edward Woodward would do things that piss everyone off. Really? Has he done something? Oh, interesting. I didn't. Ed, I didn't think Edward Woodward was uh, was in um, was in the sort of limelight uh, all that much anymore. I thought he was more sort of. I mean, he was an actor. For, he was an actor, but uh, I didn't think he was sort of lurking around all that much. What did he do to piss people off? Uh, right, I suppose we might as well just end the day because there's nothing else we can do here. So off for the night. We might be thinking of different Edward Woodwards. That's possible. That is distinctly possible. Uh, right, so I think we might have to go to a new place because there's lots of meds there. Huge amount of materials, lots of meds in the ruined villa. So some people still live there. But they don't want to trade. Might be worthwhile trying to steal from them, perhaps. Possible trade. We could find some useful materials there. And we might be able to steal some meds, perhaps. I'm assuming... Oh, no, that says there's lots of meds, which is interesting. Oh, I suppose I need to be able to break in the door, don't I? Uh... Go on, I suppose let's try the ruined villa. And this time... Yeah, I think the fact that those two are both sick... I feel like she needs to be the one to scavenge, so... Yeah, she's going to go off and scavenge. Uh, unfortunately, I, I still don't actually have any tools. I could bring ammunition, but without a gun, it's not going to do me much good, is it? So we'll have to just see, hope that I can <laughs> beat people up with my fists, perhaps. All right, sneaky, sneaky. Uh, take it all, yeah, grab all of that. Do, 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 do. This time I am going to have to be sort of properly sneaky, I think. And even then, I might not actually be able to get the job done, because I do remember this game being quite, uh, quite hard. Um, although I have completed it at least once, so that's something. Not a lot, but it is something. I need to get up to sort of like the the bathroomy areas, don't I? Really, if I'm going to stand a chance of getting any kind of. Oh, I think there was a way. Oh, I can't remember what that way was though. Oh, it won't open. Okay, that's fine. I am making quite a lot of noise, which is problematic. Okay, so she's apparently not there anymore, but I can't see where she is, so... 
But there is one, there is a woman sort of lurking around here. Okay, it looks like she's lurking at the top of here. Oh, there's also someone over there, which could be a problem. Uh, canned for, canned uh, whatever. Yeah, I'll take all that for now. What I could do, I really could do with some kind of... Oh, there we go. So it is a dedicated hide in the corner type thing. Search this. It's some woman's diary. She writes a lot about a man called Emile. Apparently he owns this house and she made friends with him while treating his wounds. After she moved in, he began to reconcile with his wife's death. At least these two found some consolation in this mess. Indeed. It's always worthwhile peeping through the keyholes. Can't guarantee that I'm going to find anything useful. But it's always worthwhile peeping through the keyholes. Might as well grab that and that, since as I can. I suppose we'll... Whoops. Shit. Oh, shit. I think she's on her way here because I made too much noise. So we'll just sort of... Whoops. Close that door. And now look through that door. Okay, she appears to have gone upstairs. I don't know if I'm fine or not. I mean, I have technically got a full backpack, but I really do need some medicine. And I haven't found any medicine yet. Which could be a problem. Okay, she appears to be in the bedroom. Oh, shit. There is a person there. Whoops, careful. Uh, tuna food. Bit more food. I do need water. In fact, I need water more than most things, so... Yeah, that's going to be well worth it. Problem with that one, of course. Oh! Oh, I see, that's how you. Right. Toggle scavenge, right, here we go. Okay. War is not a playground. Sometimes the situation will force you to get into a fight. You can meet people who will be hostile towards you. Remember that you are not defenseless. Okay, so no, I don't want that at the moment. I just want to be scavenging. But I'm not going to be able to get up there while you're lurking. Oh, you need to sit down for a while. Whereabouts are you going to be sitting down? Oh dear. Are you coming? Did someone touch the door? Strange. Yeah, it's very strange. Is it here? I don't know. Is it? Is it here? Is it there? You're running short on meds. Now you tell me. Can I pick up any more of those? No, no more spare wood either. Spare wood slots, specifically. Uh, no, lots of wood there. I do have to be a bit more daring. That door's closed, so that's not so bad. What's this? A black and white picture of the owner's wife, surrounded by burning candles. Did she pass away? I hope it was before the war, and she was lucky not to be a part of it. I'm hoping... Well, I'm making a moderate amount of noise... Uh, okay, here we go. So, I'm going to have to... I'm replacing the medicine with fertiliser. If you... If that, hopefully they won't mind. So, bandages, medication, herbal meds I could probably do with... Let's have a bit more of that. Teddy bear! It's broken now, but it's certainly brought a lot of joy to its previous owner. Cool. Right. Ah! Someone's here. Yes, they are. Run to the exit. I don't know. They kind of... 
they, I, I'm fairly certain I was literally right in front of them, and yet they didn't seem to bother reacting too harshly, so I'll just run away and get out of there. Seems like a plan. Run like fuck. Always a good plan. Always look on the bright side of plans. Do -do 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 Day four. I have the meds. I don't want to know what it took to get them. I mean, it didn't take anything, did it, technically? Oh, darn, I should have defended ourselves. We've been raided. Someone came at night to take our things by force. Okay, that's unfortunate. So, the things they stole. A couple of bits of food. Annoying. A bullet. Annoying. And a bit of wood. Not so bad. And some firewood. Mm, quite annoying. Someone tried to rob us. They must have been more scared than us. So they didn't do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. None of us were wounded, but the attackers walked off with many valuable things. We should put more people on guard. Yes, unfortunately, everybody's ill. Uh, Marin clearly isn't well. He could do with some pills. Well, we have now got some pills, so that's something, right? Right? Okay, can you cook some food? No, but that's mostly because we haven't got wood in the stove. Right, very hungry, sick, recovering, and sad. We need to find more food or we'll start starving. Oh, we've seen day four. And if I don't get the meds, I'm not going to pull through. Okay. And then you. My friends are sick. i got to help them get the meds. Yes. And you are a smoker. I don't know precisely how I sort of... Because I do have a roll-up for you, mate. But clearly... Or maybe you automatically did it, because I don't I'm not seeing this is in the medicine cabinet. No, I'm not seeing that either. Uh you, okay. Oh well, this is your story. We lived in an expensive villa with spacious bright rooms and large windows to protect ourselves from spy bullets and splinters. We installed a double bed and a small heater in a cozy dressing room on the ground floor. We spent most of our time there, talking, reading, listening to music and playing games to stave off the boredom. Okay, so I've now fueled the stove, right? No, apparently not so much. Uh, there we go, yeah. Put put stuff in fire. That's what I need you to do. And then I want you to cook some food. Because as, as long as you can solve some of the problems. <laughs> you can solve some of the problems, some, all of the problems some of the time. No, you can, you can fix some of the problems all of the time. All of the problems, some of the time. Uh, double foods? Yeah, I mean, basically, I can either do double foods there or just straight up double foods. And I think, to a certain extent, yeah, doing double foods at the same time is slightly more efficient. So we'll have you do that. Uh, sick and recovering and sad. Uh, go listen to the radio. I'll tell you what. We'll get you up. Go listen to the radio. Where's the radio gone? I can't remember where I put the radio now, but I'm sure I'll find it in a moment. First things at first, though. Is there anything you can build, mate? Because it might be useful. Ah, some filters. There you go. You can remember all of a quote some of the time, or some of the quotes all of the time. That's it, yeah. Uh, so, right. You are hungry. So you take some canned food, and then I'm going to put you to bed. But you can't remember all of the quotes all of the time. Exactly. That is definitely the one. Not very tasty, but it's filling. I was going to say, it'll do. If you pop. There you go. Have a, have a kip. And now you... No. No. Do as you're told. Not... You're not allowed to sort of just wander off. Right, get you some meds, because... I think, I think I'm almost sort of... Oh, someone's at the door! Someone's knocking at the door! Someone's tugging your bell! Someone's knocking at the door. They should not be tugging me, Bell. Very hungry. Well, uh, I was about to deal with the door first. <laughs> there you go. How can, how can you be sad now that I've given you a little jog? Uh, trade. What do you have? Our things versus your things. What do you have? Okay, so. You'd have to show me a lot in exchange. Yeah, I know. Meds are inevitably going to take a lot. So... Very common stuff, not that interesting. Very common, nothing special but not bad either. Nothing special but not bad either. 
Nothing special. Very common stuff, not very interesting. Nothing special, but not bad either. Very common stuff, not interesting. Exactly what I need. You can give me a lot for a bandage. Okay, well, technically I don't need a bandage, so... Let's exchange the bandage for some... Uh, it won't do. Try hard. Okay, so he's not willing to just do that, which is annoying. Uh, let's see. Cigarettes, coffee, pick locks, or lock picks, whatever you fancy calling them. Uh, so, I don't really have much else. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So just a couple of bits of sugar. Is that sugar? Yeah, sugar. Um, maybe I should take back the bandage then. Water and get something else, I suppose. Uh, I don't have any bullets. I don't know. Rather, I don't need bullets. Probably should be get that, and then maybe. Come on, come on! Ah, oh, yeah, bastard. Ah, there we go. Find me how to deal. Okay. Various herbs to make herbal medications. Okay. Oh, I can have it for almost nothing. Interesting. I do already have a couple of herbs. Uh, it's quite common, honestly. Uh, coffee, no. Canned food would be useful. It would cost you. Mm, probably an arm and a leg, really, but still. Uh, Alright, go on. We'll just have that deal. Cool. Now you leave. And you, I wanted you to listen to the radio, because, I don't know, I thought it might make you happy. There are shortages of water throughout the city. If you melt snow for water, make sure to boil it before drinking. Oh, I don't think that helped his happiness, did it? If anything, it made him sadder. It's a bit sort of like, ah, oh, shit. Uh, very hungry. Right, I wanted you to eat a bit of food. Now I suppose. Oh, now he's only he's gone back down hungry. Well, I suppose I've I've mitigated. That's, that's about as good as it gets in this game. <laughs> Have you solved the problems? No, I, I've mitigated. That's that's about it. That's all you've got. Let's put some more logs on the fire. All right, go on. On you go. You severely ill and hungry, but you're not very hungry, are you? Yeah. So I think maybe we'll have you not eat today, Boris. It's time for you to not be eating. Off we go with that. Finish off the job that, uh, what's his name, Marin decided to leave. There we go, superb. And now, I must admit, I don't think I can... I don't think I can get the water without... eating the food so turns out Boris you got a meal after all because I need the use of the stove well except of course I can't do that because I don't have any more wood of course or rather I don't have any more firewood I think I've got some spare wood but not firewood uh, so can you build me some wood I know you're severely ill but I need you I need you to help me out a bit right get you to the bed and then end of the day, probably, because there's not... Oh, I, yeah, you're severely ill, so what we can probably do... Get you on some pills. I mean, I, I feel like the pills haven't done as much as we could perhaps need them to, but as I've got them, I suppose I might as well try and get uh, Boris back to health. Very difficult to know if I'm going to be able to. That's the right dose for the day. Well, that's handy. We had exactly the right dose. That seems almost unlikely. Right, there we go. Get in there. And you are back to full working order. Good. Replaced. See, Amelia's my girl. She's not making a fuss like the other two. She just gets on with it. Uh, upstairs. I can't remember if I needed... I think I needed a shovel, didn't I, to clear this other bit. And outside of that, it's fine. Open the door. Oh, I see. It's locked. Right, so we'd need a lock pick, I'm assuming. That's why I haven't done it. That's fine. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot else I can do. I suppose, arguably, Amelia, carry on where your compatriots let... Whoops, no, no, that's the one. 
Carry on where your compatriots left off. Two hours of snowman building. <laughs> Sounds like a punishment, doesn't it? What was the crime in court today? You did what? Oh, I sentence you to two hours snowman building. It's my gavel, if you're wondering. Why I've got my gavel out, I do not know, but yeah, you know, trousers are restricting. Do do do. Is she going to finish the snowman in two hour in the two hour slot? I don't know. Oh god, it's tense. This game moves quite slow, so you have to build your own tension. <laughs> Half an hour. Tiny bit of snowman left. Whoa, can she do it? Twenty minutes. Do 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 do. Yeah, she did. Superb. We have a snowman. Would you like to see our snowman? No, you best uh, uh, Marin the sad man. You're gonna have to guard, I think, and then Amelia, since you're the only one who's got any kind of, uh, well, anything, any gumption whatsoever, essentially. Uh, so the airport, the last plane left long time ago. Now the airspace over Pogoran is closed for civilian traffic and the army shoots down any offenders. They keep a permanent outpost in the control tower. It's dangerous. Lots of food, huge amount of materials, some meds, lots of parts. Danger, though. St. Mary's Church. I don't really have anything to trade, which is problematic. Oh, we might have something to give away or trade. Okay. That's probably well worth it. Caution advised, though. Especially if I piss them off, I suppose. Let's go. Uh, let's see what we can do. I don't think I'll take anything. I'll hope he can give me something. Um, or I will rely on theft. Which is... Fine. <laughs> I'd like to point out it's because it's a game. I don't care because it's a game. When I was a child, I would come here with my parents. Let's scavenge outside because I don't think anybody can be pissed off at me like for that. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll get a baseline of, of bits. Now, it did say caution. But also, I get the impression he's supposed to be a reasonable man. So I don't think I necessarily have to worry about ending up in a fight. But it's difficult to know for certain. Lord grant us strength to endure this trial. Here he is. Welcome. We have been robbed recently, so we have little left. Well, I didn't rob you, so... Do you not have, like, a trade thing? My flock sleeps beneath the church. Please do not disturb them. Well, I won't, but I can't figure out how to get under the church, let alone... Uh... Oh, there they are. Oh, so, shall we trade? Maybe. Would you be willing to trade for your own supply of wood? <laughs> no, amazingly, I wouldn't. Uh, although, having said that, I think he probably would, if uh, pushed. Uh, lots of books. Okay, that's problematic. Uh, you can have it for almost nothing. Okay, we'll, we'll see how much truth is in that, because I'll give you a bit of wood. Yeah, see? He's not willing to trade for his own wood, it would seem. Now, you said do not dis... Oh, okay. By do not disturb them, I think he did actually genuinely mean that. Don't go down there. I don't know if I've ruined my opportunity to perhaps not... I mean, I, all I wanted was to just look down there and talk to them. Doesn't seem like a reasonable, uh, unreasonable thing, does it? Sure. Uh, what we'll do is change that wood for uh, these. <laughs> just ghost hunting with R2 and Baby Yoda. Good luck surviving. I see. I hope. I hope. Ba I don't think Baby Yoda's going to do you much good. R2 might be quite useful. You might need to sit down for a while, but what I'd like is to trade for your clean water with the wood I have just scavenged from your own church. Whoops, it was, I pushed the wrong button. Pushed the wrong button again. Oh, ah, right, I did actually accidentally sort of say yes to the whole trade there, but never mind. Uh, do -do. Oh, I can have the coffee beans for almost nothing, but that's not going to help me all that much. Uh, so yeah, I'm assuming it would be a bad to travel downstairs, which is fair enough. As I perhaps should avoid the idea of travelling downstairs. But what we'll do is, I'll grab some supplies, 
Um, yeah, I think we might we may end up perhaps calling that a sort of a supply run for the day. I still haven't quite got enough medicine to survive, but oh well. <laughs> if they die, if they die, they die. I know. I really don't. I really care very little for these things. But never mind. Day five. Amelia's back. Night had a really good haul. Look what they got. Lots of water. Oh, oh, cocking hell. We've been raided. Son of a bitch. Uh, Boris is feeling much better, though. Someone tried to rob us. They must have been more scared than us. She brought more people there. Uh, apparently they didn't actually take anything. Oh, Marion was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. Okay, well, that's... I mean, that's something, I suppose. Not a lot, but it is something. Uh, right, ideally, what we need to do is try and get some wood. And we do have... Cool, okay. So, unfortunately, that's basically going to be all of our wood on the fire. Uh, hungry but slow, sick recovering. Anything I can build here? Some more filters. Which I suppose isn't, terrible, uh, isn't a terrible plan. Some more fuel. Could be worthwhile. We'll crack out some fuel with you. And now you, hopefully, can build me some food stuff. Do -do -do. So you're hungry and tired. You're bound to get cold in this damn chill. Well, I would like to build something, but, you know, quite difficult. We need to put some more logs on the fire, I think is the crucial thing. Uh, oh, okay, so <laughs> Marin's looking uh, quite bad. Uh, people treasure their possessions now. In the past, they just tossed out everything that broke. I had a hard time living off my workshop. Customers were dropping by once or twice a day. Most like, mostly like that old lady who had been using the same iron since she was a young bride. And the world was brighter. But there are expect exceptions. So, he is. My handyman is hungry, slightly sick, slightly wounded, sad, and tired. Uh, <laughs> But other than that, he's a cheerful chap. Right. You should sleep off last night. That is absolutely true. But first things first, we'll just stick a stick a log in the fire. Did we ever... We, oh, we didn't finish scavenging this. Well, get on with that. Oh, there's children at the door. Someone's at the door. Help. Anyone there? I need help. My mum is sick. Please help us. I don't think I've got any medicines, mate. Uh, two medicines, no. I don't have them. We live several blocks away from here. Our mum's very ill. She needs medications. Could you please spare any? Without your help, she will die. After Daddy went to fight, we have only her. Please help us save her. Ah, oh, damn, guys. Maybe later. It did a bit all right. They didn't say no. No. I might have to next time, though, kid, because... Well, I just don't have the medicine. <laughs> I don't have the medicine for you, Pavel, and everybody else. Oh, I see. I need... Ah, uh, right. I got, I got you. Yeah, I need vegetables for that. Uh, so we can make two bowls of food. I suppose that's something. We drove the thugs away, but we won't hold them back forever. Ah, dang it. I can force the lock open with my tools. Well, go get your tools. I don't think he's got any tools at the moment. Uh, I think you're, you're going to have to go to bed, mate. Uh, hungry, 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 hungry hippos. Well, I think we're going to have to wait until you're really hungry before we start uh, sort of being able to use food. Oh, someone, I see, my boy has stolen your bed. Sorry. You're going to have to muck in with Marin. And uh, depending on what he's like, it may very well be mucking. Because, you know, he might be a mucky boy. Uh, right, so, semi-detached house. There is danger in the semi-detached house. Uh, we still don't have any actual equipment, which is unfortunate. Lots of danger there. Shoots down any offenders. Probably a bad idea to do that. The ruined villa. Yeah, not a lot available. Huge amount of weapons, though. Semi-detached house. People living in the other half. They don't seem friendly at night. You can sometimes hear shots fired from there. You'll probably scour the abandoned park for supplies if we manage to sneak past the inhabited part. 
Uh, I suppose we'll probably have to try and sneak past the inhabited part. Uh, right, so I think I think Marin's the one who's going to have to sleep tonight. So Boris, try and uh, try and you know do some stuff. Ah, good evening, Katie Yarl. Uh, you loved this game. I don't think anybody could ever describe this game as loving it, but I, <laughs> I get what you mean. Uh, but yes, we're we're trying to survive uh, the horrendous, the harrowing experience of war. But it, it, I mean, in terms of a game, it is it is fantastic. I absolutely understand why you would love this game, because it is it's incredibly well made. But in terms of the overall vibe and feel of it, it's it's just absolutely harrowing beyond comparison. I've got a nasty feeling he actually comes to this. Uh, he might actually come to that door. Oh, okay. No, I can't get open that door anyway, so that's fine. Let's sneaky sneaky. So they're above me. But that shouldn't affect what I'm doing. Let's try having a look through this area. Uh, yeah, for now we'll just grab everything we can lay our hands on. Oh wow, that is a lot of playing. I think I, I've, I've rarely done that. I have done that in the past. Usually it ends up being Assassin's Creed. I've had that happen before in Assassin's Creed where it's like you play it so often... Okay, he's saying show yourself, but I don't... Ah, oh, dang it. I need a saw blade. Son of a bitch. Don't hide. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get past that one without the saw blade. Unfortunately, I don't know how to get a saw blade at this exact point in time, so... That could... Whoa, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is this going to be a bad? Or is that going to be a rat? Difficult to know, of course. There is the possibility. Oh no, that's a shit. We're under the exit. It's time to leave. That was a very poor scavenge, unfortunately. That was a poor scavenge. But I didn't know I'd need the saw blade, unfortunately. But there you go. As I say, not entirely sure where I get the saw blade. It's probably from the upgrade table. I just don't know. If I need to be able to upgrade the upgrade table. Which is a bit daft, but still. I'm back and in one piece if a bit tired. Ah, oh, god damn it, they raided again! They had the robbers. They didn't seem very determined, so they didn't do much harm. Too bad we had no weapons. Marin was wounded. Again? Christ. But the attackers didn't steal anything. Marin wasn't even on guard. What was he doing? Marin is pale and coughing all the time. He looks severely sick. Good god. <laughs> Uh, very hungry, severely ill, slightly wounded. Okay, but we have a bit more biography. That's nice. I'm really worried about the lack of food. I can hear my stomach rumbling. Oh, it's not a lack of food. I'm just refusing to feed you. <laughs> Don't let me die, please. Please. Go on, this time. Oh, wait, where are you, dipshit? Down there? What are you doing? Too bad there's no coffee. I mean, technically, we have got some coffee beans somewhere. I just don't seem to have the recipe for coffee. Which, I mean, in fairness, it's hot water and coffee. There's not much in the way of difficulty there, but still. Uh, up we go. Up we go. Come on, come on. Bit quicker, mate. You said you wanted food. I think you'd move a bit faster if there's food on the table. Well, there's not food on the table. It's food on the stove, but I have to do. Come on. There you go. There you go. Now, now at least you're only hungry. And you can't say fairer than that, can you, mate? I mean, I could say fairer than that. I could have full, full meal. Um, I don't know. Weird. Oh dear. Oh no. He's really, he's really on his last legs, isn't he? Poor Marin. It's an odd one because, of course, coffee being coffee, uh, coffee being co what coffee is, it's a, a addicting, isn't it? And I think there is a withdrawal if you go off of coffee. So I imagine he is possibly experiencing coffee withdrawal, much like. Mr. Smoker here hasn't had a cigarette. Without my help, my friends might die from disease. I must get some medicine quickly. Uh, hungry and tired. Uh, I suppose go on. We'll sort you out. We'll sort you out completely. You have a you have a dose of food, and then we'll get you in bed, as it were. Um, can you cook any more food? No. 
But we could get some more water. What's the issue with the food situation? Okay, so part of it is the fact that we need more fire. Someone's at the door. Someone's ringing your bell. Someone's fucking at the door. Oh, God, it's the children again. Uh, I'm going to have to say no, because everybody's ill. I'm sorry, kids. But you, you're pretty fucked, lads. Yeah, give me a sec. Nah, I wasn't able to get you in the meds. Nah. Nah, kid. You're on your own, buddy. Off you fuck. Off you fuck. There you go. No, I said no. Thought more highly of me. No, you didn't. You knew me for one day. And I told you to go away yesterday. Granted, I implied that I was going to be able to sort your problem. But, it turns out that implication was false. It's not technically my fault. I tried. I just couldn't get to secure the medicine. Because I almost died. Uh, right. Off we pop here. Let's just before I send her to bed, as soon as she's tired, I will just look in. Whoops, not that. Well, slightly useful. What I wanted to do was see what the upgrade cost was. Wood and sort of parts, isn't it? Uh, let's see. We do need... Unfortunately, we do need some wood, I think. Although the fire is burning at the bottom there. Do, 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 do. Slide down. See how much wood's in the fire. Uh, we'll stick another one on. Stick another log in the fire. Um, stink up the place, wouldn't it? Ooh. Should stick your logs in the toilet. Uh, hungry, sick, recovering. Oh, he's got a bit more bio. We'd have given those children meds. If only we'd had any left. Yeah, well, it's not my fault everybody's ill. Unfortunately, we had no meds to give to those poor children. And, oh, Amelia couldn't give a shit. Oh, no, there we go. Sorry. She did have one. Those children asking for meds were out of luck. Our cabinet was empty. Genuinely, because it usually flashes orange when the bio is updated. Uh, it looked a little bit like she was basically entirely just couldn't give a shit about the children. Go on, end of the day. We might as well. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Uh, oh, but we have unlocked Old Town. Some food. Huge amounts of materials. Uh, military positions in the overlooking mountains make it a dangerous place. Interesting. There's this distinct mix of architectural style and the many great Gratzny and Vizzini restaurants and pubs. But there are lots of meds. Those who aim at each other during the day often trade with each other at night. These soldiers have a lot of goods and they're willing to trade, especially for alcohol or cigarettes. But be careful, you never know what to expect from them. Do we actually have... We do have a quality roll-up. That's about it. So, I suppose it might be worthwhile popping in, but it is dangerous, apparently. Be careful, you never know what to expect from them. And this one, I feel like this one's overlooking mountains, making it a dangerous place now. But if we take the risk, we might find some supplies there. Uh, ah, fuck it, take the risk. Uh, you can guard, and Amelia, you are my professional scavenger. So, you're going to go out again. Risking your life and possibly, well, I mean, arguably I should have done it the other way around. Risking your limb and possibly life for the situation. Looks as though someone reinforced that house, but it seems empty now. Okay, well, first things first, we'll just go with the easy scavenge pile first. See what's there. Okay, oh, gunpowder. Nice. Well, nice-ish. I mean, I haven't actually managed to figure out how to build guns yet, but that's that's a problem for another time, I think. Do, do, do. Peeping through the key. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's a rat. Okay, that's fine. It's a rat. It's not much better rat. I was scared by a wee little rat. Reinforced door and recent boot prints indicate some people had chosen this building as their refuge before it was hit by a shell. As opposed to being hit by Michelle. Relatively certain that's another rat down there. They do like to sort of make you paranoid by having the rats present and accounted for. So they will sort of... I can peek through that door, but apparently I can't open it. I'm assuming it's locked. It won't open, okay. 
Is there no way you could try and open it? Because it would be useful. Uh, okay. Difficult to know if that's a rat or something else. Oh, that's a chair. Don't sit on the chair. The scavenging. Giving a bit of an eye on the top bit. We'll grab all of it for now. We'll swap out as and when the need arises, I think. Uh, coffee beans. Uh, probably do need sort of some of that, so it's probably worthwhile chucking a bit of wood in favour of a pile of scrap bits. It's locked. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Yeah. I can force the lock open with my tools. Unfortunately, we don't have any bloody tools still. Still don't have any tools. We could do with some tools. Am I going to regret this decision? No, because I think it's a rat. I can look through there, but I can't open the door. I can, however, sift through this area. Nothing here? How dare you? How dare you put a little hand symbol and then tell me there's nothing there? Dickheads. Saw blade. I haven't got one. Uh, what we got? So, parts again. Get gunpowder? Yeah, we can stack the gunpowder. Good. Uh, it's probably worthwhile. I'll take a few of those parts in favour of that. Doesn't really help our sort of illness situation, but I need to I need to try and unlock the saw blades. I think that's got to be my first my first port of call, because that will open up a couple of potentials later on. We'll have to wait and see whether I can figure out where it is. Uh, I think it's going to require a new tool desk, perhaps, but we'll have to wait and see if that's true or not. Uh, there's every possibility everybody's dead. Amelia's back and everybody's dead. She just turns up and dead as doornails. Look what I got. Yeah. Good God. Every night they're raiding. Boris was wounded, but the attackers didn't steal anything. Okay. Oh, dear. Marin is barely moving. This illness is killing him. Boris is pale and coughing all the time. He looks severely sick. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's unfortunate, isn't it? Not a whole lot I can do about it, though. I suppose I do have a couple of those herbal medicines, but I'm not entirely sure if that's the sort of one we need to do. Uh, so the metal workshop. Okay. Shovels, crowbars, knives. Nice. That is definitely what we need. So we'll put that... Uh, where's the other tool bench? Yeah, so if I put that alongside of the tool bench, that shouldn't be too bad. Uh, terminally ill, but recovering. Well, that's happy. Happy times. Um, I, don't, I think that means he's just in bed. This fever is terrible, but I wouldn't forgive myself if someone died because I took the meds that could have saved them. When we were hiding in the basement after they hit our house, we were quickly run out of food and had very little water. I could not move because of my foot. Anna saved us both. She was a great mother, a real hero. Anna used to go out at night and she was bringing us everything we needed. Okay, so I need you... You are very hungry, so I suppose I do perhaps need you to go up here. It's not the most sensible way of getting up, a, up to a place, but it'll do. And I don't know, as I say, I'm not entirely sure whether the herbal medicine is worthwhile, but... Okay, these won't help you. Fair enough. Herbal medicine is no longer an option. <laughs> right, you, I suppose, take take the bowl of sustenance. Oh, we can pop down here and see if you can actually build anything useful. Uh, lock pick. Okay, cool. That's something, at least. Uh, you wouldn't mind another helping? Well, unfortunately, we don't have another helping for you. But God, these two are in a sorry state, aren't they? Oh, well. I only need one to survive, and then I can classify it as a win, can't I? I'm all dizzy. Bill, I'm standing. Oh, get over yourself. Oh, I'm trying to put you to bed, mate. Come on. Behave. Play the game. Get in bed. Are you dead? No. But apparently you don't want to fucking move. Yeah, well, if you if you move, I might be able to deal with the flipping eating. Someone's knocking at the door. 
Fine, I'll go see who it is. Good God, it's all go here, isn't it? Right, buddy. Have a look what they bought. Is it free? Because if it's not, I mean, they're probably going to have to make you fuck off, mate. Uh, do you actually have any medicine? No, you don't have any pills, so that's unfortunate, isn't it? Uh, no, I mean, you really don't have anything that absolutely sort of makes me go, yes! I need to care. Um, I mean, you say quality roll-ups quite, you know. Yeah, I suppose maybe. If I traded for some cigarettes, I might be able to take them to the military camp. Uh, do, 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 uh, probably. Trading the gunpowder. There we go. That'll do. Right. No, I don't care about you having more, mate. Go away, son. Uh, am I able to cook any food? No. Why can't I cook food? Wood. Why can't I cook that? Wood again. So I suppose stick some more wood in and then we might be able to get some water out of it. Uh, right, so Boris, are you... Yeah, you seem to be permanently stuck, Boris. That's good. That's good. Okay, so you are terminally ill, so I'm, I, I think he's probably a dead man. So we won't worry too much about him anymore. Alright, here we go. Get some water going on. And then we'll probably put Amelia at the bed. And then we'll have to wait until tomorrow. We'll have to wait until, wait for a moment or two and see what happens. Essentially, uh, can we put two in? Yes, we can. Cool. Put two in there, and then we can get some grub on the grill. Probably need to light a fire. I'm not sure how much wood is now currently in the fire, but stick that on. I suppose arguably you might as well just enjoy Amelia. I think you're the only one who stands a chance. Because <laughs> you keep going out at night and those two keep sleeping together and then spreading their illness. Uh, right, so we can... Yeah, we could now pick that lock. Where do I get... Is the saw blade here? That's a knife. That's a shovel. So no, don't have a saw blade available there. Does it tell me what I can get by upgrading it. Mm, electrical improvement, interesting. So again, parts and wood, which I keep not ending up with enough of because I keep having to deal with all the other problems. Uh, <laughs> okay, so there was a there was a lockbox here, which would be an immediate result, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, there you go. The, the fire is technically there. What about upgrading that? Because that is yeah, that is an. Imp that is a heater, so it is officially doing heat. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that thermometer is, but all right. So yeah, lockpick that door, I suppose. I think it's one lockpick, one door. I don't think you can use multiple lockpicks. But I might be wrong. Okay, so we've got med kits, a bit of fuel, a bit of food. Nothing as major as I could have done with. Let's just check if that lockpick got used. Yeah. As I say, I think it is. They are sort of destructible items. One lock, but one go round. Uh, Boris, you still, yeah, you still seem to be sort of just stood there, stood there like a melon. And I can't seem to get you to go anywhere else. No, okay, that's fine. Uh, I think it's end time to end the day. <laughs> I, think, I think we may be able to do a two hour of two hour failure on this one. I have to wait and see. Uh, so, it's, yeah. what's interesting, of course, is that the whole possible trade, but there is danger. You never know what to expect from them. So, uh, you're going to have to guard, uh, sleep in the bed, and you go out scavenging again, Amelia. And yeah, we'll try the military outpost. We've, we've got a bunch of roll-ups. We might be able to trade. But yes, I suspect Marin is probably a dead man. It depends on how generous they are by the phrase terminally ill. Um, <laughs> is there any wiggle room to the phrase terminally ill? I mean... No. Am I allowed to scavenge here in front of you? I don't know. 
Am I going to get myself shot by doing this? No, I think I think they're allowing me to scavenge just outside their base. Difficult to know for certain, but I might get myself shot. Hey lads, am I allowed to scavenge here, or is this too far into the base? No, apparently I'm still allowed to scavenge here. Cool. Okay, so I can trade with you. Oh, nothing special, but not bad either. Let's see what we can get for that. Okay. <laughs> so apparently I can't get the pills. Cannot get the pills I'm looking for. Uh, can't get the guns. Cool, cool. Okay, you want me to leave? Oh well. Shit. That was... Uh, I wonder, can we, can we at least sort of... Oh dear, have I... Oh shit. <laughs> Bye! Well, can we, can we be cheeky? Look, it's difficult to control, you have to understand this mate, there we go. Uh, it would cost you... Tell me a lot, it would cost you... <laughs> you know it for almost nothing. Okay, well that's something. I'll tell you what, we'll try and take all the water. For one cigarette? No, okay. Can I get all the water for seven cigarettes? No, apparently not. Okay, we can get 12 waters for seven cigarettes. I suppose that'll have to do. And unfortunately, this was a terrible trip. Oh dear, they're out in force, aren't they? Ah, uh, fuck them. I'll leave them today. Oh, you cannot be bothered. I don't know how well this game didn't do well coming out of the window. Um, so, we'll see. Day 8. It's almost time to put it away, so... They can live just this once. Uh, oh, cool! Both Boris and Marin. Both of them barely moving. The illness is killing them. Uh. <laughs> oh, dear. What can the matter be? Uh, Amelia's not happy. Uh, Marin, without meds, the disease will kill us all. <sighs> I'm very sick, but give the meds to others first. I'll try to hold on a little longer. Oh, uh, there is no holding on, my. Oh, you can move now. Okay, good. Right, that's something. <laughs> yeah, i got to admit, this one is just... I mean, they threw double illness at me, and now I'm screwed. Because <laughs> unless they miraculously come back from terminally ill, there is no chance. Because we've got very hungry. I can I can't even really get them to. I can't get them to the kitchen to get the food. I can build a chair. That's going to be useful. I don't think. What can we build here? Another lockpick, I suppose. Uh, where else did we have lockpick for? Uh, I mean, I can't think of anywhere. I can't think of anywhere external that would require a lockpick. I mean, there's plenty of them, I'm sure, but I suppose arguably I could open that one up. But I don't know if that wardrobe, because I can probably get her to sort of clear the rubble. But I've done it now, so there's no point in discussing it. Uh, you could try and move the rubble. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. Unfortunately, you being hungry, sad and tired, I can't really solve all three of those. <laughs> and I imagine she's going to be dev devastated when uh, Marin and Boris pop their clogs. But I think I think when I played it, Previously, that sort of run that was classified as having been completed. I think I sailed through it to a certain extent. Because I even had the children come and stay. Had the children come and stay. So I was feeding the children, feeding the people that was with me. Quids in. But I suppose arguably some of it I'm going to have to take some time to build up an, an, another understanding of the sort of nuances and subtleties of the gameplay in order to try and sort of... Plus, I'm assuming a lot of the events are perhaps random in some fashion. Can't say that for absolute certainty. But uh, we'll see 
We'll do one more sort of night scavenge. I don't think we can get any... We're not going to get any sort of medics. Uh, oh, I think the fire's gone out. Okay, that's a problem. Well, I mean, hurry up with the with the digging, and then we can put the fire on, can't we? In fact, in fairness, you're doing a lot of work, so... Ah, oh, good, that cupboard is open. Let's not lose hope. Okay, and another lockpick, that's something. A bit of food, that's something as well, I suppose. Alright, what I want you to do is pop down here and get the fire on. Because I think the fire's gone out, which is problematic. Yeah. Let's add some wood to the fire. Oh, we, oh, we got no more fuel. Okay, cool, cool. Cool, we've got one log. <laughs> one log for the fire. And that's all. Right, I'm going to give her the tin of food so that she's no longer hungry. And then we'll just... I, I, I've written... I've written Boris and Marin off. Oh, he's gone full depressed. Very hungry, terminally ill, slightly wounded, depressed. Hungry, terminally ill, slightly wounded, sad and tired. Uh, at least Amelia is only sad and tired. And one of those two I can do something about. Uh, oh, let's check the radio again. I know you could do with some rest, but you're the only one who can move. So you're going to basically have to do everything, Amelia. You're very much the traditional woman. You are doing everything for two ungrateful men. You're listening to Radio Bogoran. We regret to announce that our colleague Duran had died this morning. He was shot by a sniper on his way to work. He will be missed. Well, that's going to cheer you up. Cool. Glad I listened to the radio. <laughs> that was well worth it. Uh, let's go try and chop some firewood out of... Not a good day. It really isn't, is it? Uh, yeah, I'll just chop plentiful firewood from the logs I have and as I say we'll do one more night scavenge and then see what happens on day 9 if both of them die she I don't know if they can commit suicide but let's be honest if, if you've just watched uh, two, two fellas sort of become terminally ill and die of starvation and illness I reckon it's probably going to be a you know it might be might be enough to push you over the edge. Uh, right, let's stick a bit more f wood on the fire. In fact, I think we'll just make sure that's stoked completely, because at the, at the very least, um, you know, we might not be uh, we might not be healthy. We not we might not be well rested, but at least we are warm-ish. And I do emphasise warm-ish. Oh, there we go. Those two are now. Full on bedridden, which means there's not a lot we can do there. Uh, warehouse, there is danger. Used as a hideout by a group of armed thugs. That's not a great situation. Uh, those have got guns as well. Ruined villa, ghost house. Uh, I wonder if the ghost house, because there there was potential chance to utilise my lockpick, but I can't remember what was in the ghost house. It might not be a lockpick scenario. But at least I'm fairly confident there's nobody here, so I'm just going to sort of... Oh, maybe there is someone here. I don't think there is, though. Or at least I hope there isn't. Every now and again she seems to be refusing to move, which is uh, quite irritating. Okay, so yes, there's a lockpick door here. But there is something in the corner. Is it a rat? Let's have a look through the door. It's a rat. So never mind that rat. Is this going to be the miracle that saves the day? No. <laughs> no, it's not. Because that whole shed loads of medicine turns out... Ah, oh, there's no medicine. There's no medicine here. Let's look in the fridge. Fairly certain there's not going to be medicine here in the fridge either. Sugar cubes. Cool. I suppose arguably by the end of this she's going to need a stiff drink. Uh, she can scavenge through there a little bit more. Uh, grab all of that, why not? Go on. You might as well grab as much as you can, because... Otherwise... Oh, we need another saw blade. I wonder if the medicine's in that cabinet at the at the bottom there. Unfortunately, I'm unsure precisely how to get... Uh, yeah, I think we're basically finished. 
uh, scavenging and possibly uh, <laughs> in, in general in this game we might be finished. Uh, off we go. I filled up my backpack that I'll have to do. Amelia is back. Oh dear, there's a big loading screen. Does that mean everybody's dead? <laughs> Does it have to load a bit more if everybody's dead? Day nine. That little look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Have we been raided again, I suppose? Yes, of course. Uh, they stole food and water. Uh, both of them, illness is killing them. Uh, searching for supplies and blood bag stuff. So, cool. Cool, cool. We have no food. That's good. It's good. It's good, good, good. How am I to survive if thugs are trying to kill me and take my things? When the banks closed, Father opened the safe box and pulled out a small chest. Cheer up, girls, he said. We aren't broke yet. Then he went to the marketplace, bought back fresh peaches. He kept trading jewelry for food every day. We also received humanitarian aid, like everybody else, so it wasn't bad, apart from the isolation. But Father wanted us to be safe. Uh, any further bios for you? No, I suppose nothing's really happening for these two, is there? Just look at my wound, please. You have to do something about it. Damn thugs, if they come again, they're dead. Mm. You can't get out of bed. I don't think the thugs are going to be uh, uh, sort of devastated to face you. I suppose technically... Okay, so, no. There is no technically about it. Unless I can... Can, can I get you? I don't... No. I don't... I don't... Unless... Maybe I can. Somehow. I should order some pizza. It would be nice. Talk to him. Oh, well, you've got him up, I suppose. Are you gonna... Go on. Give him a shake. That'll get him up. And going. Sad and talking. Hey, Marin. Listen to me. I only got you up because I wanted my bed back. What do you want? Just to remind you that you're not alone here. Go away. <laughs> Rude? But don't you worry, Marin. I know the rudeness is only because of the pain. Oh no. Uh, okay, so apparently I'm able to chase him. Have we. No. I think he can... he's, he's stuck again. <laughs> Hey, you're going to be slightly less rude than Marin. I feel we want to recover before the next attack. Oh, we won't. Everybody's dead. Someone's knocking at the door. But I'm busy talking. Uh, Boris, I can see you're down. Oh, I can actually give him a uh, give him some. Okay. Just wait there, Boris. I, I am going to just check at the door. I'm assuming it's Trady McTraderson. Although, having said that, that does not look like Trady McTraderson. Am I about to get myself killed? Why not take it? I feel like... Let's talk. You won't regret it. Okay. Let's talk then. I'm looking for my friend Anna. She used to live here before the war. I was hoping to see her. She was always rather sickly and medications... <laughs> Fucking medications! Yes, they are getting you harder to come by, aren't they? Yes. I'd have never known that. Could you keep... Oh, I see. He's giving me meds. Okay, fair enough. So I bought her some. Maybe you could give the, keep them and give them to her if she comes. Uh, yes. <laughs> I will take your meds. I will thieve your meds, sir. Okay, I suppose this is one of those ones where I can either just thieve the meds, or I can keep the meds, or I can possibly use the meds, but also... Try and perhaps... Uh, okay, so I can't apparently do anything with him. But I can. Th oh, no. Okay, fine. You've got an hop. Oh, you're you're moving by yourself now, are you? Oh, no. He's... That boy cares about this Anna so much that he trusted us. Will she really come here? I wonder. Uh, and then... There's never enough meds. We can use these. That girl probably won't come. You know for a fact if you use them, the girl will come. Okay, so get you... Come on, Marin. I'll dress your wound. Whee! There we go. So we've managed to do that. 
Cool. That's something. Not a lot, but it is something. Okay. I <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to use the pills. I'll try and I'll try and replenish them at some point. Cannot guarantee I will be able to replenish them. Apparently I can't. Boris, there you go. Ah, good. Well, do you do you the world of good? Oh, I think Boris can actually walk by himself. Fair enough then. Come on, mate. Up you pop. Very hungry, terminally ill, wounded, and depressed. <laughs> I am going to put it away in a minute, so we'll, we'll have to sort of carry on next week with our <laughs> with with what you would call our situation. Well, having said that, I think I've pr possibly progressed too far. I think it's autosave after each day, so I might have to just do the night scavenge again. Which I suppose, arguably, I still need to try and find more meds. But why is why is everybody ill? I don't understand why everybody's ill. <laughs> They're all fucked. Come on, back to bed. Back to bed, Boris. Come on, Boris. Back to bed, my friend. Back to bed. It is all you can do. You bed, you meds, you meds, you beds. Let's get some heating quickly. It's plus two. What are you complaining about? It's plus two. These people. It's pointless, oh dear. Oh dear, Marin's really gone, isn't he? Absolutely, thoroughly gone. Yeah, no, he's... He's full force sitting on the sitting on the floor with your head in your hands is not a good look, mate. Another attack like that and we're done for. Uh, so, yeah. I suppose at this point, we'll do one more night and then we'll definitely put it away. <laughs> Those two, again, just sleeping in the beds again. Now, uh, wasn't there yeah, giveaway or trade? I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to take a risk. I don't like taking risks though, so... One of those ones where I... <laughs> uh, if we can sneak in, but it is very dangerous, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Uh, the, the church at least is possibly going to be un unarmed people. So we might be able to just punch them to death. Uh... <laughs> You, sorry, can can we just sorry? Can I just ask, quick aside? Just quick aside. Are you, are you suggesting you're going to punch a priest to death? Maybe. I'm not. I'm not necessarily saying I am going to punch a priest to death. But equally, I'm not necessarily saying I won't punch a priest to death. Uh. Yeah, I was gonna say, unfortunately, I don't think he's actually willing to give anything away, like, properly. So I am going to have to perhaps either kill him and take his stuff, or take a chance going down below the church. Well, he is looking, he is looking the opposite direction, so we might be able to... Might be able to get away. Oh, that's going to require a sword blade again, isn't it? Oh, but I can go op, but I don't know if going op is going to be that helpful. Oh, great, a, a teddy bear. That's exactly what I needed to feed my uh, feed my people, wasn't it? Is this just an alternate exit, or is this going to be something that might be useful? There's a mark on the wall and a few words. Here lies Roxy, the best dog in the world. There's the best dog in the world. No, it's just a tribute to the best dog in the world. Are there going to be people in this house? Fairly certain they suggested it was abandoned, but I can't get in that way, which is a nuisance. Ah, oh, good. We might be able to get in this way. Check the door before you uh, wreck the door. Let's scavenge through this pile of gubbins. Uh, only f trash and dirt. God damn it. Is that all I'm going to find here at the back? Because you would think, since the church is in front of this place. Ah, gosh darn it. This will take a while, which is a nuisance. I don't have... Well, I literally do have all night, but... If only I had some kind of shovel. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? But you don't. So you just have to live with the situation and dig with your hands. 
Might be worthwhile going downstairs first, but oh well. Carry on, come on. A bit quicker. You're hungry, sad, and very tired. I think you dig quicker, because, you know, on the other side, it might solve all of your problems. The grass is always greener on the other side of the big boulder pile. Didn't even know there was grass on the other side of the big boulder pile. In fairness, I don't think there's any grass in this game. It is, it is pretty much all just shades of grey. Just carry on digging, carry on digging, cause when you're digging I know that you're hungry, sad and very tired indeed. Come on, we can make it to the tenth day. In fairness, we definitely can make it to the tenth day because Amelia's doing well. Well, apart from the hunger and the sadness and the tiredness. But apart from all of those factors, she's doing phenomenally well. Uh, grab all of that, why not? Scavenge through here as well. What's that? Nothing here, son of a bitch. Oh, oh dear. I swear, oh yeah, that's, that's one I saw a ladder down there. You'll never know I was there. Nothing but useless trash, goddammit. Open that door. Is there anything here? Oh, I could unbarricade that door, that's not too bad. Make it easier. I said I was going to say it'll make it easier next time, but of course <laughs> we don't know for certain there's going to be a next time, considering how uh, pretty screwed everybody is. Uh, again, we've got another sort of trash bar, but it's probably worthwhile digging through this trash bar. That guy. Oh, that guy might have a chair, might have a gun. That could be a problem. I know you could use a shovel, but again, I do remind you, you don't have one. And there's no point lamenting the things you don't have. I have, I, I don't have many things. <laughs> and sentence are good, make. In fairness, I, in fairness, I was lamenting over not having satisfactory last uh, <laughs> on a previous stream, and I, so uh, I can hardly talk. Her, she wants a shovel for an exceedingly useful um, scenario of being able to dig through dirt quicker. I'm just lamenting the lack of factories. The lack of satisfactory in my life. I have nothing that is satisfactory. I don't know what happened. I'm assuming when the time runs out, I just get pulled out. But I'm, truth be told, I don't know for certain. We're probably going to find out, because I am going to push it to the boundaries this time, I think. Unlike previous occasions, I really do need to sort of desperately try and sort of scavenge as much as is humanly possible on this evening. Grab this. There we go. Cool. A little bit more stuff, but then that is... Oh, no, that's not. I thought that was another one of the... Uh... Makes sense. I think this. I think this might be another. Yeah, there's another dirt pile. I definitely don't have time for that dirt pile. I gotta leave this place first. Okay. I wonder if that is going to be a. I suppose I, I will run to the exit, but I don't think I'm going to make it to the exit. So I don't know what the game is going to do at that situation. Unless I do make it. I mean, I've got 20 minutes. Which is not obviously. Someone's here. Good evening. Oh, I am allowed in the underground. Oh, sweet. Oh, well, that makes it a bit easier next time. I can just sort of not give two hoots, but... The dawn has caught Amelia. It will be harder to return. Oh, dear. <laughs> we may have sent Amelia to her death. But in fairness, I mean, she's not that far away from the exit, is she? Come on. She's at the front of the church. It's like 20 minutes. 20 minutes tops. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, no. Okay, no. Fair enough. Fair enough, not, not as bad as it could have been. The night was calm, but we have lost Amelia for now. We won't survive if we can't get food. One day a kid bought an action figure with a broken arm. They make from, from plastic that can't be glued, and there are no spare parts. 
all on purpose to sell more new toys, but I fixed it anyway and gave it back to the boy. Oh, how happy he was. Later, after everything went to hell, I found his toy in the street and I knew. I knew he wouldn't part with it for his life. God damn it. <laughs> my friends are starving. I need to get food and share it with them. Disease is killing my friends and I can't help them. You, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. Right, this time we're definitely leaving. Uh, any unsaved progress? Okay. I, 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 mm, I've had arguably, starting again, starting again isn't going to be too much of a, of a difficulty. I'm back. Are you dead? No, not yet. Terminally ill? Yes. Dead? No. <laughs> it's, it's, let's put it this way. It's not gone hugely well. Also, can't apparently figure out how to get out of the game. Oh, there we go. Okay. But uh, <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it for today, methinks. Uh, intriguing. There appears to be a... Oh, I know. That's because, for some reason, some annoying reason. Right. I think it's time to move this window and then maximize it there. And then let's have a butcher's in two uh, things. Okay, that seems like a good choice. So we'll do that in a moment. I see. I have just realized and comprehended uh, what was meant by um, the earlier comment. Right. So, what have we got? as an ending uh, I will be back on Saturday for Saturday RPG with Final Fantasy 13 which we are progressing nicely through uh, I surprised myself by getting through the Sid Reigns fight uh, really easily which was nice which was nice um, a dancing ferret parade I don't think we've got any ferrets. And I don't think I would be able to teach the ferrets to parade. Or dance. Maybe one of the two. But I definitely don't think both. They're not going to go with both. In fairness, actually, there is a channel. Uh, I think it's a, a woman called Nitonator. Um, or is it? No. No, there's one Octavius King... Yeah, I think it's Octavius King, somewhere along the line. Uh, she actually does have ferrets, I think. No, she has rats. So every piece of information is completely wrong. Thumbs up for for being informative beyond comparison. <laughs> anyway, let's run through the schedule. Saturday RPG, that's going to be 4.30pm BST, British Summertime. Uh, then we're back Monday, 4.30 again, for... The Arts Hole. I will be presenting my Arts Hole and doing a bit of modelling Monday. And then we'll be back Wednesday, 4.30 once again, where we'll be doing another hodgepodge of hilarity again, uh, I would suspect. Unless I change my mind, which, yeah, you know, I might do. And then we'll be back Thursday, 8 o'clock is Dragon Quest Builders, and 10 o'clock is going to be more This War of Mine. Uh, we'll do it until I either get bored or complete an adventure in it. I don't know which is going to come first. We'll see. I hope you two have a good night, Katie Yarl. I will say good night, and we'll do a raid, theoretically, unless I've babbled too long and he's gone off. But no, I think... <laughs> Apparently, it would seem I've had a move named after me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to be raiding into Blue Boosh, who is doing Phasmophobia. And apparently the move of accidentally throwing your torch away is now called, being called the Dragon Fanning. fanging. Uh, yeah, you threw your torch. Or as we call it... I mean, he has missed out the G, so he has called it Dragon Fanning. Uh, but still. <laughs> um, anyway, there's also, uh, as he's present and accounted for... And we're not going to raid him at the moment. Um, there is also Malice Calibur. He does things Saturday night. I assume there may be X-Wing things. X-Winging thingings. Um, and of course, if you want uh, some high quality painting and dinosaur themes, 
there is Mr. Can't Sleep Must Paint, who is going to be next up on a Sunday, 9 o'clock, I believe he starts. And, of course, we're going to be raiding Blue Bush, who is on pretty much every night at about 9.30, 9 o'clock-ish. Uh, and then he sort of basically ends up playing till late in the night. Uh, difficult to know, he may end up going off because I am babbling and doing anything, but uh, still, we'll get that we'll get that starting, uh, and then we'll head off. Uh, right, yeah, I've pretty much said everything. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. You may also enjoy a bit of blue bush. Uh, the bush is blue because I uh, dipped my lower regions in icy water. Uh, so anyway, as, as is the norm, I'm going to say cheerio, then I'm going to click the Raid Now button, then I'm going to turn the stream off, and then I'm going to go to bed. Well, actually, I can't guarantee that last one, but, eh, you know, what, what are you going to do? Uh, right. Cheerio.